going to show you how to install Industrial Craft 2 for Minecraft 1.7.10. Before you start installing Industrial Craft, of course the first thing you need to do is to install Forge. If you don't know how to do it, the link uh, to my installation video for Forge 1.7.10 will be in the description below this video, so that you can follow me as I install Forge and then we can get on to installing Industrial Craft. Alright, so if you have Forge installed already and to check that you may of course enter roaming and see if you have a .minecraft folder and inside the mods folder. This is the flag folder that comes with Forge, so if there is a mods folder in your .minecraft folder you are sure that you have installed and played the games the game with Forge at least once. Alright, so to install Industrial Craft, the first thing you need to do is to get the Industrial Craft file from this site. I will link it in the description below, so don't worry, you don't have to search for it. Uh, and as you can see, this is called Pro Project Industrial Craft 2 Experimental. And you don't have to be afraid of the name. <laughs> all the versions have been called Experimental and all have been deemed unstable and that they may break words and its app API may change frequently. Uh, so, just as it says here, you should cre you should back up your words before you do anything. You should back up your whole Minecraft .minecraft folder. Uh, we will get to that in a second. Uh, you have to choose the last. Oh my god, I'm sorry. The last file from this list here. So no dev, no API, just experimental dot jar. Uh, this version here may change if you're watching this video a few days after I make it. Uh, so don't worry about that, just choose the the most fresh version. And But if you, for example, if the f most recent version is unstable to the point of not being able to play it, I mean to play the game with it, uh, there's a build history here, you may choose any build you like. I've, ch I've checked and the 503 build is stable, so you can always go back to it from this list here. Alright, so if you download it, if you've downloaded it, uh, you will have the file here on your desktop or anywhere you've downloaded it. Uh, don't do anything with it, just enter roaming. And as I've said, before you do anything, copy your .minecraft folder somewhere in a safe place where you will find it easily and stuff. Just in case anything goes wrong, you will have a clear copy of all your words and all your Minecraft stuff uh, so that you can access it if, well, anything goes wrong and you still want to play the game and don't you won't have to do everything from the beginning. Alright, so let's enter Minecraft. And now let's locate the mods folder. And of course let's enter it. And to... Just to be sure, make just enter the versions folder and see if you have the 1.7.10 version. Alright, let's enter mods. And as you can see, I don't have any mods installed yet. <coughs> this is going to be the first uh, mod I'm going to install on, on this Minecraft folder. <laughs> so let's just drag it here. Uh, and the bad thing is, if you already have a couple of mods installed uh, and Amongst them, you will find Optifine. You have to delete Optifine or just take it out from this folder because Industrial Craft 2 and Optifine do not work together, uh, sadly. So you have to choose between playing with Optifine or with Industrial Craft. Uh, if you're not sure how to uninstall Optifine, you just have to take it out of the mods folder. It doesn't leave any child mods anywhere. So just taking out, just taking the Optifine out will suffice. All right, so now let's close it and we may enter Minecraft. Of course, this will work the same on the Knet launcher. Uh, that means the cracked launcher, any cracked launcher at all. Uh, and let's make sure that our profile is Forge and we're ready to play Minecraft 1.7.10 Forge uh, with our Industrial Craft. And let's hit play. Let's wait for a second. Uh, 
And the game may take lo longer than usual to load because this is a really big mod. Uh, so don't worry about that. Everything should work fine. And now let's enter the mod, mods f uh, tab here. And as you can see, there's four mods and there's Industrial Craft 2 amongst them. And it's working. Everything is fine. I will not enter single player now because there's no way for me to quickly show you that Industrial Craft is working. You just have to uh, trust my word on that. And of course the fact that it shows in the mod list. Uh, so thank you for watching this uh, installation tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you still have any problems or questions, just ask me in the comment section below or write a private message to me and I will try to answer anything basically. Uh, so yeah, thank, thank you for watching again and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!